Hi, I've been talking for weeks about how I've been making a zine and guess what? This morning, to me, I don't know where you are in time, I got it listed in my Etsy shop. Yay, 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 I'm so pleased. Here it is, I've shown it to you before I think, but just in case you haven't seen one of my other videos about it. This is Little Bits, it is issue four. This is my Perzine, so it's just a random assortment of things that I want to put in a zine. It could be anything, it's a Perzine, it's just whatever I like. And there are bits of writing, there are diary drawings, there's stuff about some films I watched. There's some stuff about listening to music. Where's some more? I know there's a lot of drawings in here, but then I'm like flicking through and not landing on any of them. There's some more drawings. And in the back, there is a word search for you to do. And I put little stickers all over the front of each and they all have a random cover and it's 32 pages and I really I really had a nice time making it. I hope that you have a nice time reading it. It's in my Etsy shop. I would love it if you would go and get a copy while you're there. I have a lot of stickers available. I have other stuff in my shop as well, but who doesn't love stickers? I feel like stickers might draw you in. Go and get some stickers from my shop where you get a zine. Go get a zine and some stickers. You deserve it. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, that's my attempt at promoting myself. Um, what else did I do today? I got my zine listed. Oh, and then I did a drawing and sorted out the post for my sketchbook scans on Patreon. I put my sketchbook scans up every month for patrons. And uh, this year I've also started doing a digital drawing with each post just like as practice and I don't post that anywhere else that is not like a, an incentive really because they're not anything special it's just something that I add on to those posts but yeah my sketchbook scans are up on patreon for this month if you are a patron just so you know it's there you can go and look at it um yeah I don't know there was actually something else I wanted to show you it's a little bit silly but I kind of like it um <laughs> My journal slash planner, but it's more like I write down what I've done rather than what I'm going to do. But um, it's in little notebooks, so there's going to be multiple notebooks through the year, but I kind of want the year together in one place. And I started the second notebook when I set up my April like spreads and stuff. So I made a thing to put them in. <laughs> <laughs> my book spine. This piece of cardboard that I think I don't know what that came off of. It might have been the pages for the zine actually, the box that they came in and yes yeah, so it was just a piece of cardboard and then I have tied string, oh this is yarn, through the book and then around and yeah so now they're in here and this will be easy enough to fold when I need to add another one I can just make how wide it is a little bit bigger I need to decorate it it looks really ugly but not like it's not quite good ugly yet but also I, I kind of love it but yeah I think I will decorate it but it it seems really flimsy and stupid but it's actually working really well. These books have just, like they're in there, it's fine. It's good, it's good. They're in there, it's fine. Yeah, I don't know why I wanted to show that off, but I guess I did. I guess I, I just did. <laughs>
I gave up trying to film packing these orders because the extreme lighting situation was just too silly. But I now have a little stack of orders, mostly zines. Thank you very much. It's just, it's so nice to have a little stack of orders. It feels very, very good and very grateful. Thank you so much. And now I'm going to wait for my hair to dry a little bit. And then go, go pop these in the post box. So nice outside today. I went and posted those orders and then I went over to Hobbycraft to get a piece of felt. I think I mentioned before I was trying to get this piece of felt without buying new felt, like looking for recycled felt or secondhand pieces, but it just didn't work out this time and I need to get this piece finished. My parents are coming for a visit tomorrow. And then after that, I would like to have sort of like a fresh slate in my brain so I can get on with new things. So I want to get every, all the little jobs that are left over done now. So yeah, I really wanted to get that felt. So I went into Hobbycraft and bought a piece of felt, which is not what I wanted to do, but you know, that's the world we're living in and I will keep looking for better options. But yeah, so now I'm going to finish finish these guys look at how tidy my desk is weird weird but excited to make new things and mess it up again I have this little set of watercolour paints and they come in these little tubs and they're um, wet. I don't know if it will focus, can you see? It's not like a pan, it's more like what you would get in a tube I guess. And I've not used them how you would use watercolours, I've had a quick go with them um, kind of just using them as like kids poster paints <laughs> rather than actually using them properly so yeah I just want to try them out I'm not a painter I, something that I want to practice so this, this lid is all wonky How do I, why is this wrong get in there so yeah I just want to try using them properly or as properly as I would use watercolours. I'm using cartridge paper <laughs> because I'm a heathen. And yeah, I'm just gonna do a couple of swatches so I know what the colours are like. And then you're not gonna be able to see this, I don't think, but I've traced up this little drawing from an old sketchbook of just a tree um, little scene, just so that I can have a go with them because I think it'll be a nice time.
there are definitely some mistakes and just some bad choices in there, but I had a nice time and making bad choices is what practice is for. So, you know, this isn't for anything. It was just, just some practice and I liked it. And I, I think there are some things about it that I really like as well, so. Thumbs up. Bit there, Maggie. <laughs> Is he taking it in the corner? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 